Hey everyone, Dylan Schumacher, Citadel Defense, and uh, we're back with another episode of What Did the Government Screw Up This Time? So every day I wake up and I think, can they still find a way to make this worse? And then they manage to do that. So while there are a litany of things that are going horribly wrong in the world right now, uh, the one I want to talk about right now is that the CDC has decided that yet again, they need to study gun violence. This is of course hilarious because they've already done this. Uh, a mere eight-ish, seven-ish years ago, back in 2013, the CDC released their study on gun violence. And that study is such a big deal because that's when we found out that about 750 to 2 million times a year, Americans use guns to defend themselves. That's how many defensive gun uses happen per year. Again, remember, a defensive gun use doesn't mean anybody gets shot. It just means you tried to rob me, I pulled out my gun, and you said, ah, okay, I'm gonna go find something else to do. That's a defensive gun use. And that happens on average somewhere between 750,000 to 2 million times a year. So people use guns to defend themselves quite literally thousands of times a day in this country. Now, to make sure they get the correct results this time, uh, the CDC has declared gun violence a health epidemic. Because why not? I mean, rent was a health epidemic, now we can have gun violence be a health epidemic. There's really nothing that can't be a health epidemic at this point. Now, like a very good scientific organization that you would trust with your health, the CDC has decided to make their conclusions and then get data to back up those conclusions. Because after all, that's how science works. So, of course, I will be super interested to see the results come back from this study because they are going to quite literally have to make up data in order to support their case, which is what they will do. Or at the very least, of course, omit very important, relevant data to the conversation. For those of you who don't know, of course, we use data to drive conclusions. That's how the scientific method is designed to work. Uh, you, you make some hypotheses, you gather some data, and then you draw some conclusions from those data, which don't always align from the same set of data. You might have learned this in uh, third, fourth grade if you grew up around the time that I did. These days, however, that is not the case. Uh, these days, what you need to do, of course, is make a conclusion and then go out and find data to back your point up. I bring this whole thing up to remind you that progressivism is a cult. Here's a great example where a organization has decided they have an agenda to push. An agenda that of course the Democrats have wanted to push for decades and now they're just going to go ahead and try to find a way to finagle it through. I am a little bit surprised because the rent moratorium thing did get shut down. So I'm really curious to see the CDC declare a moratorium on gun sales or ammo sales or online gun sales or online ammo sales or whatever other thing that they come up with. I'm super curious to see them try to declare some kind of health-related emergency around guns and why you don't have a right to own one anymore. This, of course, comes at a time when government control and tyranny and communism are off the charts and growing. So stay tuned as we continue to live through this wonderful historical event. Do brave deeds and endure.